So suppose you have a, uh, an application running in a pod. And that's running as a container. Uh, and that's going to make a connection to some other application, some other pod in the cluster. Uh, Linkerd is going to intercept all the traffic going in or out of pods. And the way that it does that is that it has a uh, init container running in this pod. And that init container runs before any other containers in that pod. And it sets IP, IP tables rules that are going to redirect all of the outgoing connections from that application. So in addition to the init container, there's also the proxy container running as a sidecar. And when that application uh, initiates a connection uh, out of the pod, those IP table rules will rewrite the destination of that connection to go instead to the proxy. And when the proxy gets that connection, it's going to do a look up to the control plane to know where that connection is supposed to go. Specifically, the destination controller in the control plane. And that will get back uh, whatever service you're connecting to, it's going to give you back a list of endpoints uh, that are the endpoints of that service. And so the proxy can take that list of endpoints and it can do intelligent load balancing over them. It can take a look at the latencies uh, that it has observed to all of those different endpoints and uh, use that to weight the load balancing so that more requests go to the faster endpoints and fewer requests go to the slower ones. So it may have a load balancing pool of connections to many different endpoints. Uh, now when that connection comes into the destination pod, that has the destination application running in a container. That container, or that pod, also has an init container running, just like the other one, which also sets up IP tables rules. And it has IP tables rules to redirect incoming connections to the proxy. So this connection comes in to the proxy, uh, and then the proxy knows to forward that connection up to the application. And the proxy will do things like terminate MTLS, add observability metrics, um, and do other stuff.